Here we go with 6th grade Excel, lesson 123, rounding mixed numbers. Are you ready for an easy lesson? Yes. i got a studio audience here to help me out with this super easy lesson. When you are estimating with mixed numbers, the rules are, here are the rules. So we're going to round mixed numbers. If the fraction portion is less than 1 half, round down. If the fraction portion is equal to or greater than 1 half, round up. Okay, so what we mean is if you have three and a half, you're going to round that to four because that's the fraction part's one half. If it's three and one tenth, you're going to round that to three. Get it? Okay, easy. Round each of these mixed numbers to the nearest whole number. When you first look, you can't be certain that every fraction is more or less than one half. You can convert the two thirds, the two -thirds to an equivalent fraction with a denominator evenly divisible by two. Now you can see 4 6 is greater than 3 6. So round up, now that's, that's too complicated. We're going to make this much easier. If you want to round this one, all you have to do is think, well, what if this was 2 fourths? 2 fourths is a half, right? So 2 thirds has got to be bigger than a half. Or think of it this way. This 3, if this was a half, you would have 1 and a half on the top of that. Because one and a half is half of three. But this is two. Two's, two is bigger than one and a half. So this fraction, two thirds, is larger than a half. So that means I'm going to round that one up to two. You guys will get it after you see a few samples. Let's look at number two. Four and three sevenths. Okay, do I round this to four or to five? Four. Well, is this bigger or smaller than a half? Greater or less than a half? Small. If it was a half, what's half a seven? Two, wait, three, wait, three and a half. Three and a half, right, or 3.5. Is this bigger or smaller than three and a half? It's smaller than three and a half, right? So that means this is smaller than the, the, the fraction one half. Okay, so since it's smaller than a half, we're going to round that down to four. Is this starting to make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, number three, five and four eighths. Well, look at that. Four eighths is exactly what? One half. One half. So remember, when it's a half or more, you're going to round it up. So what's five and a half or five and four eighths going to round to? Six. Six. I round that one to six. Okay, uh, pause the video and try just number four and then turn it back on. All right, help me out, you guys. So if five ninths was a half, let's do a half with ninths. What's half of nine? Four and a half. Four and a half is half of nine, right? Most people can tell just by looking at that. So if four and a half is half of nine. How does five ninths compare to this is the same thing as a half, right? How does five ninths compare to a half? Is it bigger or smaller than a half? It's smaller. Bigger than five is larger than four and a half. So five ninths is going to be bigger than a half. See, five is past the halfway point of nine. So this is larger than a half, so what am I going to round this to? Four. Four, there we go. Okay, pause the video, do five through seven, and then turn it back on. Okay, five-eighths. Do you think five-eighths is smaller or bigger than a half? Bigger. It's definitely bigger, because if it was four, it would be a half, right? And five's bigger than four. So what am I going to do with the three? Make it a? Round four. Round it up to a four. Okay, two and two-sixths. Do you think two-sixths is smaller or bigger than a half? It's smaller. Well, what would a half be in sixths? Oh, so three sixths. Three sixths would be a half, right? Mm -hmm. So this is two sixths, so it's smaller than a half. So what am I going to round that to? Three. No, two. 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 I'm going to keep it down at the two instead of going up to the three. Four and three ninths. Is three ninths bigger or smaller than a half? Smaller. That's smaller than a half, right? So what am I going to round the four to? Four. Just keep it at a four. All right, here are oh, six more problems for you to try. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready for the solutions. All right, let's see how quickly we can do these together here. Three and a fifth. What does that round to? Three. Three, because a fifth is smaller than a half, right? Six and five tenths, what are you going to round that to? Seven. Seven, round that up because this is a half. Five and four ninths, what are you going to round that to? Five. Five, because four ninths is smaller than a half, right? Two and a fourth, two or three? Two. Two. A fourth is smaller than a half. Four and four, six. Five. Four or five? Five. 
five, right? Because three six is a half. Five and seven twelfths. Six. Gonna round that up because six twelfths is a half. That's seven twelfths. So we got to go up to the next whole number. All right, we got two more to do. Fourteen and fifteen. Pause the video, then turn it back on when you're ready for the solutions. Three and four sevenths. What am I gonna round that to? Four sevenths? Oh, oh, four. That's going to round up to four, right? Because four is larger than halfway of a seven. Three and a half is, is half of that. How about five and two fourths? What am I going to do with that? Uh, it's six. Make it six, right? Because two fourths is what? It's one half. Exactly one half. All right, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.